Hey guys and welcome back to another Reaper tutorial. This time we're looking at editing with items. So in the previous tutorial we looked at using a time selection which selects across the entire timeline, so all tracks within the project. And obviously when you delete that way you delete the selected time period from every track. So today we're going to look at editing via items specifically. So this will allow you to just make a deletion on one track rather than across the entire project and has a number of other benefits. We've got our project, I've got old faithful, one shine, one item. Sean, and I've taken it back to an unedited state. Let's just get rid of this first part of the track again. Hello, and well, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just going to scrub forward. Hello. Okay, so once again, I've got my edit cursor just before where I want this file to actually start. So I'm going to hit A to split the item. One item added. And you hear it say one item added, and that's because now we have two items on the track. Two Sean dot W A V B three fifty five percent. One. One Sean dot W A V B one. So the A key will select the item you're on and split it at the edit cursor. If I select the second item again. Two Sean dot W A V. And so I'm now at the beginning of that second item. If I play, hello and welcome to this guy. Okay, now that's the part we want to be at. So I can now delete this first item. One shot. W A V. Select it with Command Left Arrow to go back from the second to the first item. I can delete that item. One item removed. So we now just have one one shot. One item. The one item. One shot. W. And so it's renamed it from two to one because it's now the first item in the project. Hello and welcome to this okay. guy. Now, let's have a look at where we're up to in the track. So I'm going to use Command Shift JJ. Bar zero minutes, 5.109 seconds. Okay, I'm five seconds into the project. So the first item's gone, but the second item is still where it was, you know, five seconds or so into the track. Now, there's a couple of ways I can fix this. I could just simply Command X to cut it from this point. One item removed. And jump to the beginning with Command Home. Bar one beat one zero percent. And paste it back with Command V. One item added. Now, when I paste an item in, your cursor is placed at the end, so I'll need to jump back to the beginning of the item one again. W and if I hello there, and if I do Command Shift J J. Bar zero minutes zero point zero 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 seconds. So that's fine. I can certainly cut and paste the item from one spot to another. No worries. It's it's easy enough. But there's a way we could have made that initial deletion of the item such that we didn't have that issue. And that's where ripple editing comes into play. So the keyboard shortcut, Option P, will toggle between three states of ripple editing, and Option Shift P will report the state you're currently on. So if I have a look at what we're on now, so I'll do Option Shift P. Ripple off. We're on ripple off, and I'll use Option P to show you the other two states. Ripple per track. Ripple per track. Ripple all tracks. And ripple all tracks. If you're not familiar with the concept of ripple editing, I'll cover that briefly now. So if we have ripple turned off, when we delete an item from a track, all the other items on the track remain where they were. Nothing moves. Ripple per track. Now, with ripple per track, when we delete an item, other items on that track only will be moved forward on the timeline by the length of the item you delete. So if you delete a five second item from the middle of a track, all other items that are after that one will be moved forward by five seconds. And finally, ripple all tracks. If we have it set to ripple all tracks, when we remove an item of say five seconds again, that five second period will be deleted from all tracks in the project. Now that may sound a little confusing, so what I'm actually going to do to illustrate this a little more effectively is create a duplicate of Sean's track here. One shine one item. And I can do that by hitting the letter D. So two shine one item. One shine one item. We now have two tracks on here. One. Two shine one item. Two. Hello and welcome to this. So we've got two copies of the same thing on the track. We're now going to pan one to the left and one to the right. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to go up to track one. One shine, one item. I'm going to pan track one to the left, and I can adjust the pan of the entire track with Option Left Arrow or Alt F Arrow on Windows. One percent, three, four, six, eight percent, twenty, thirty, 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 forty, 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 fifty, 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 six, six, seven, seven, eighty, 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 ninety-eight, one, one, 
100% left. So 100% left. Two Sean, one item. And I'll go down to track two with Sean. And option right arrow. 1%. 4, 8, 10, 13, 6, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, 50, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 100. We now have Sean on two tracks. One Sean, one item. Top one to the left. Two Sean, one item. And the bottom one to the right. One Sean, one item. Go to the first item. We're going to perform our edits on the left-hand version of Sean, so on the first track. One Sean, that. And we're not actually going to touch track two. So back one to Sean, track one, one and one Sean, let's Hello, play. and welcome to this guide to Reaper from Gore. Okay, now we have our first edit that we need to do here. So I'll back up to the beginning of the word Gorth. Gorth. Okay. And once again, I'm going to hit the A key to split this item here. One item added. We see one item added. And if I just uh, arrow down and back onto this track. Two, Sean, one, one, Sean, two items. We have two items there. Two, Sean, one item. And one item on track two. Back to track one. One, Sean, two items. And we'll go to the location we want to make the other split. Gorth. Garth. Garth. Okay, that'll do. So, once again, letter A, that selects and splits the item under the cursor. One item added. Now we have... Two Sean, one item. One Sean, three items. Three items on track one. Remembering that track one is actually your left hand. So if you haven't got headphones on, might be a good time to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to jump back to item two. Three Sean, that W, two Sean, that W. Okay, so we've got item two selected. That's the item that Gorth. is... Gorth, that we want to get rid of. Let's check our ripple state. Ripple all tracks. Ripple all tracks. We're actually going to start off with... Ripple off. Ripple off. I'm going to delete that. One item removed. I'm going to jump to the beginning. Beat one zero percent. And let's play it. Hello, and welcome to this guide to Reaper from Gorth. Garth. Now for... And pause. So you'll notice there what happened was when I deleted the word Gorth, uh, it disappeared from the left, but because Ripple was turned off, the item that followed the deletion, the one that was the third item, stayed where it was. Ripple off, things stay where they are. Let's undo our deletion. Undo delete items. And let's change our Ripple state. Ripple per track. And the next one we're going to look at is actually Ripple per track. 3 shawn.wav. Two Sean dot W A V B two sixty two percent. And once again, we've got both items. Gorth. So we've got left and right channels appearing. I'm going to delete this left channel version of Gorth. One item removed. Okay. Now I jump to the beginning, and we'll see what happens. One Sean dot W. Hello, and welcome to this guide to Reaper from Gorth. Gorth. Now, from what I hear, Reaper is now a great from what I hear. Re so you can see, and we'll make it a little bit clearer to hear by soloing track one. And you can do that with F6. So I've got focus on track one now. So if I hit F6. Soloed. And jump to the beginning again. Hello, and welcome to this guide to Reaper from Garth. Okay, pause. We'll unsolo it. Unsoloed. So clearly you can see we had it on ripple per track. So this particular track that we were working on, the item that was following our deletion moved its way to the end of the previous item which is exactly what we would want if we were just editing this one track. Hello, and welcome to this guide to Reaper from Garth. Garth. Now, from what I hear, Reaper... <laughs> okay, so if you're editing a podcast, you're probably not going to want to do that, though. You're not going to want to have your tracks suddenly becoming out of sync. So once again, let's undo what we've done. Undo toggle track solos. Undo toggle track solos. Undo change item selection. Undo delete items. There we go. And that's another thing we should cover. I've uh, got some default settings there, so I've got too many things in my undo history. You can actually control how much is recorded in your undo history, so we didn't have to go through quite so many undos to get back there. Anyway, we're back in the situation where track one, one Sean, three items. has three items, two Sean, one item. and track two still has its one item. Okay. One Sean, three item. So let's select item two on track one again. Three Sean, that double, two Sean, that double. Okay, and this time we're going to try our third option for ripple editing. Ripple all tracks. Ripple all tracks. So can you guess what's going to happen this time? Let's delete. Zero items removed. Okay, it said zero items removed. 
On whole, there were no items removed, but <laughs> there was some actual changes with what items are on these tracks now. So, firstly, let's listen to it. Back to the beginning. Beat one zero percent. Hello, and welcome to this guide to Reaper from Garth. Now, from what I hear... Okay, so you can hear the left and right channels are now in sync. So we have accomplished basically the same thing we would have accomplished if we used a time selection to make the deletion on these tracks. Let's, though, have a look at the items on the tracks, and we can see why Asara reported zero tr items removed. One shot at WAV. Two shot two items. Track two has two items. One shot two items. Track one has two items. So before I deleted the second item of track one, track one had three, track two had one item. A uh, total of four items. I made my deletion on track one, and I had it set to ripple all tracks. So deleting that one item on track one has caused a split in track two. So we still have a grand total of four items in the project. So we started off with four items and we finished with four items. So Asara's reporting of no items removed is kind of right. <laughs> so just to quickly run over that again. Ripple off. Ripple off, when you delete an item from a track, any items on that track and any other track won't be affected. They'll all be left alone. Ripple per track. Ripple per track. The ripple action, the action where the item after a deleted item is moved, will only occur on the track where you're deleting the item. Ripple all tracks. And ripple all tracks will delete that segment of audio from all tracks. So it's very similar to actually making a time selection and deleting that way. Now your ripple mode affects movement of items in other situations too, where you're not actually making deletion, but you might be moving an item. So you can nudge your items along a track, okay? In the same way you can nudge your time selection, you can nudge your items as well. Now, just quickly in review, we looked at splitting an item with the A key. Custom, select and split item under edit or play cursor. We looked at cycling between ripple modes with option P. Options, cycle ripple editing mode. And reporting the current ripple mode with option shift P. O S A R E, report ripple editing mode. And on the way, we also briefly looked at command X. Edit, cut items, tracks, envelope points, depending on focus, ignoring time selection. By the way, you can also just do Command-C to copy an item. Edit. Copy items, tracks, envelope points, depending on focus, ignoring time selection. And Command-V to paste. Item. Paste items, tracks. So pretty simple. Cut, copy, and paste of items. And if you're listening to the actual action names there, you'll notice that it's dependent upon focus. So if you move between tracks, you'll be cutting the track. If you move between items, you'll be cutting the item. And there's envelope points that you can cut and copy as well. We also briefly used the D key. Track. Duplicate tracks. Focus on a track and hit the D key to duplicate that track. And track, nudge track pan left. Nudge track pan left and of course track, nudge track pan right. With option left and right arrows. Now we also use the solo track option, which is F6. Track, solo and solo tracks. So it's a toggle to solo or unsolo whichever track you have focused. And while we're speaking about that, let's introduce one last key, which is F5. Track, mute unmute tracks. So the opposite of soloing a track, obviously, we can toggle the mute status of a track with the F5 key. That's all we're going to cover today, guys. I hope this has been helpful. Once again, if you need to contact me, garth at audio.pizza. Thanks so much for listening and bye for now. <laughs>